Hey court chasers, how are you? I hope you're fine and healthy. With that healthy vibe, we will start our video today. I am Adil Lakshman Etiketti. Welcome to our channel, Court Chasers. Hi everyone. In this video, we will see functions in Python with a return type. Okay. First of all, what is a function? Function is a block of code. Okay, block of code which is run when we call it okay when we call the function it will run okay this is function and we can pass data also to function we can pass data to function this data is called parameter meter or we can also call it as arguments arguments can be single can be multiple okay whenever we call a function function either can return something return something or may not return something may not return okay the two types of functions exist functions can return something functions may not return something okay it is not compulsion that every function should return it is not compulsion that every function should not return based upon the requirement based upon the scenario we will code the function in such a way that it may return or it may not return let's say there is a function there is a block of code which we are calling it as a function okay function here and we are passing data to this function the data here is the arguments right arguments like name we are passing and age we are passing okay we are passing name and age to this function and we are asking this function to prepare a string for us okay to prepare a string for us in this format i am writing please uh, prepare a string in this format my name is my name is the name which we passed here the name is this name and my age is age is the age which we passed here okay the age which we passed here age here we are asking function to prepare a string in this format by using the arguments that what we have passed we have passed name and age right we have we are asking function to prepare a string in this way my name is the name that we have passed and age is the age that we have passed suppose i passed name as virat and age as 30 okay I am asking function to prepare a statement saying that, which states that my name is Virat. Okay. My age is 30. It should prepare a statement or string like this. Okay. And we are also asking function to return it. Return. Return this particular statement. Return this particular statement. Okay. Now, how we return a statement is like, we will use a keyword called return. We will use a keyword called return. Return is the keyword which will allow a function to return something. Suppose we are trying to return this particular string. The format that we need to follow here is, first of all, I am writing a sample structure of the function. Definition, def is the keyword. And then function name, function any name that we wish to give and then columns sorry and then small braces that we call it as like curly braces and the parameters that we are passing age and then a colon and the body of the function body of the function where this particular string is getting formed the logic will be written here and then our return keyword here we have to write return and the string which we formed here let's suppose this string we formed here and we are storing it in a variable str1 and we have to give a space after return keyword and then we need to give this particular variable name str1. That means we are returning something from the function. We are returning something. Okay. So to keep it very simple, I, I already discussed this example in my earlier video. Like we will compare this with a human call. Okay. Let's suppose there is a human named Matu here human named Madhu here okay human named Madhu his name is Madhu and we are calling Madhu with his name verbally right 
Madhu. Hey, Madhu. We are passing some information. How are you? We are asking him. We are passing this information to him and asking him, How are you? And in return, Madhu is returning something. He is saying, I am fine. We are, first of all, we are passing some data. How are you? And this particular person named Madhu is returning a statement or returning some words. Those are, I am fine. Okay. Like the same way we are handling humans, we will handle functions here. We are calling this function. Let the function name be display name and age. Display name and age. Let the function name be this. We are calling this function. Hey, display name and age. You please take this data. I am passing you data. Let's say Virat and my age. The Virat's age is 30. I am passing you this particular data. You please in return form a string in this particular way. In this particular way. And you please return it to me. And you please return it to me. Okay. Like the way we are calling a human. Hey Madhu, how are you? I am passing this particular data. How are you is a data that I am, pa that I am passing to Madhu. And in return, Madhu is returning a statement. I am fine. Okay, like the sa same way here, I am passing data Virat and 30. Virat is the name in place of name parameter, I am passing Virat. In place of age parameter, I am passing 30. Hey, display name and age. You please take this data and please return me the statement which looks like this. Okay, this is the way how we, how we deal with functions with a return type. Okay, we'll see the same thing in our coding practical session. Okay. So to explain the scenario in the coding section, I have taken the same example that I've taken in my earlier video. Okay. To be clear, I am removing these comments from here. Okay. Like you might confuse. Okay. I am removing these comments. We will only deal with this function in this video. So I have already written a function with function name, display name age, and I am passing two arguments name and age to this function in my earlier video i am printing the name and age in the function itself but as per this particular scenario a function with return type is concerned i am removing these two particular print statements i am using these two arguments name and age i am and i am forming a particular string in the required format str1 let the string be str1 that means i have declared a variable str1 and I will be storing the string in that variable str1. Okay. I am preparing the string here. My name is the name that I wish to populate here. And my age is and my age is the age which I got here. Okay. The age which I got here. And you like you all people know from my earlier videos how we are concatenating a string and a variable. If at all you didn't know or if at all you didn't have an idea, please can go to my earlier videos and you can check my strings video. I'll keep the link in description, okay? You please don't worry. And I am concatenating the string and the variables and I am storing it in a variable str1 and now I have to return this variable str1. This str1 is a variable which is holding this particular string. My name is the name which I got here and my age is the age which I got here. Okay. And I am returning this particular string one. Just now I have discussed to return something. We need to use a keyword return space string one here str1. Right. I am using this particular variable here. Okay. I have returned the keyword return and a space and the variable which we want to return. Okay. This is the way how we have to write a function with return type. Now, I will call the function now. You know how we, we have to call a function. We have to use the function name to call a function. And here this function is demanding two arguments. Okay. We can give it either in a keyword argument way or a positional argument, positional argument way. What is a keyword argument and what are, what are positional argument? I have discussed clearly in my earlier video. You please go and check. I'll keep the link in description. Okay. As of now, like we'll go with positional arguments. Okay. My name here, it is demanding in first position. It is demanding name. So in first position, I have to give the name 
the that which I want to pass. I am just passing a name Virat. And in the second position, it is demanding age. So in second position, we have to give age. I am just giving 30. Okay, pie chart is also like automatically picking the names, automatically picking the arguments. It is picking Virat as a name argument and it is picking 30 as an age argument. Okay. And if at all you clearly observe, this function is returning something. This function is returning str1. That returned value, we have to capture it somewhere, right? I am capturing it in this string. I am just giving a variable name. I am just declaring a variable here. String read returned is equal to this function name and the arguments that I am passing, we and 30. I am calling this function with these two arguments and this function is returning something. So that returned value I am capturing in this particular variable. This particular variable you can give anything. I am just giving a named string returned. Okay. I am just capturing this particular string one in this particular variable string return. Okay. I am just printing this particular variable string return. Okay. I am just printing this particular variable. Okay. Now we will see executing this particular code. Okay. Now if at all I execute this particular code, see it is saying we can concatenate only strings but not integers to strings. Yes, here why it is saying here is the parameter here we are passing it as age. We can't concatenate a string with an integer. Okay, so what we have to do is this 30 will be captured here in this particular age parameter or age argument and my string 1 will be found here. My name is name the name that we have passed here is Virat. Virat is a string it took the name as Virat and my age is here 30 here I have passed 30 right 30 is an integer it is giving error while concatenating a string and an integer okay for that we will typecast this integer into string we will see that now see it has formed this particular string and it has returned this particular str1 and this function has returned something, right? This function has returned str1. I am capturing that str1 in this str returned, string return. And this particular string got captured here, okay? And this particular string, we are printing it, okay? And this is how we have to code a function with return type, okay? As I have mentioned it earlier, Functions may return something, functions may not return something. It totally depends on us, like how we code. It depends upon the scenario, it depends upon the requirement. We can make function to return something or we can make the function to not to return something. Okay. I hope you found this video useful and we will meet in our next video with an another interesting topic about Python. Okay. Till that, thank you so much. One quick and important information. There are three courses running parallelly in our channel. Course 1, Python full course. Course 2, PySpark with Hadoop full course. These two courses are designed for beginners and they are designed in such a way that a person who doesn't have any knowledge in any coding language can also easily understand the content in this course. So please do follow if you are interested. And the third course is Python interview preparation. This course is designed for those people who are preparing for Python based interviews. In this course, most frequently asked python interview questions were taken and they have been answered with live coding sessions for each and every questions if needed so if you like my work please do subscribe to our channel and like the video and click on the bell icon to get notified about the updates of our channel thank you so much